Denmark is making headlines for using technology to help teach consent. They just released a new app called I Consent, which gives lovers permission to have intercourse with each other once in a 24-hour window. How it works is that each party must agree to consent on the app and the consent can be withdrawn at any time. However, critics of the app say that this takes the fun and spontaneity out of sex and makes it more of a business deal. So ladies, what are your thoughts on this? First of all, I was curious if what kind of consent it is. Is it that they just sign it? Or I know this sounds weird, but my fear would be that someone would like get in my phone and sign it for me. Exactly. Um, yeah. I, I, I was hoping that they would have some court, some sort of yeah. virtual video where the person like says their face and their mouth actually says, this is absolutely something that I want to do and that I want to be a part of. Now, what what is confusing to me is why people would think that this takes out the spontaneity of sex. Guys, there's a real issue happening out here. People don't understand consent. So if I can feel safe, I'm taking safety before I take spontaneity. I will take safety every single day before spontaneity. Yeah, and you can still be spontaneous, and I think you can also still have a conversation with someone about it. I mean, I tell my kids all the time about consent, and I go, how I explain it to them, because they're 13, I go, you know how, like, if we're going to the movies, we all have to agree on what movie we're going to see? Well, now at home. Um, that's what consent is. Both people have to agree to what you're doing, where you're touching, who wants to be touched. And I think... In a way, I read in this article, like, over 14,000 people are raped. So I think what they're trying to do is exactly. prevent that and make yeah. people feel like they actually have control in when they have sex or not. You yeah, just have to be careful real. because it's an app. And the thing is, is that someone could be drunk and you don't know. Um, I think it protects a lot of men, so I think it's good. But because it is an app, I agree with Munchkin. I think if it was some type of video form where you could see if they're inebriated or if they're sober, yes. you know, because it's, it, it's, you know, or somebody could steal somebody's you phone and take the app. It's all kind of, you know, and it's like you never know. There's loopholes into everything. You never know. 24 hours is a very long time, and... We still have the right to say no even after we signed it. Like, let's discuss that. Like, what if I signed it and then I'm like, oh, in the moment of actually right. it possibly happening, I still have the right to say up to that very last second, no. Right. I actually yeah. think the word consent, because it was sadly brought to us under circumstances of Me Too and understanding, again, the respect uh, of having a conversation about getting intimate with somebody, it, it feels a little stodgy and it feels, it feels like a, a weird conversation to have, right? However, recently my girlfriend, who, who, who started dating this guy, opened up to me how he addressed the consent and I found it to be the hottest thing ever. So this guy and her, they had conversations, they hang out, and then he literally started asking her in a very straightforward way, like, I want to ask your permission. If I begin kissing you, are you going to feel comfortable with that? And if I move further and I want to touch you, are you going to be okay with that? And he would literally just tell her, almost in like a romantic novel, it sounded like he was narrating what he wanted to yeah. do. And she was That's so very into it. Sexy. And, I, and it was very sexy, I love which is so that. weird. And right, and then Garcelle get this. So then she goes, Jeannie, I'm going to text you something, and you tell me what you think of this. And I was like, okay. Guys, she sent me this form. Obviously, it's, it's between girls. He doesn't know that I got this. But she sent me this form that he sent her that said, I'm really excited about you. You're coming over tonight. And before we get into anything, I just want you to check the boxes that you're okay with. And in this form was everything from taking this off This is very bra, 50 Shades of Grey. Going down there, 50 Shades, to even yeah, at the end gray. of it was like, do, it, had, it had 49 things, Garcelle, and the very last thing was, would you be willing to have consensual sex? And so wow. that alone, she was already enticed and excited, and she didn't even yes. have to check the last yes. box because she said yes to so many other things. And then get this, guys, 
When she came over to his house, she said, Jeannie, I checked the boxes. I was good. I threw it in his face, walked in and had a beautiful time with him. And he still squared her off and looked at her and said, I just want to make sure you're okay with all of this, right? Because he wanted to get that eye to eye. And the, she said there was something about the manly way that he handled it that just yeah. turned her on in such an amazing, fiery way. She said, even though, whether or not they the lack of desperation, <laughs> that alone, the, that alone the, the lack, lack of desperation is sexy. Man, just be safe, okay? If you know you don't want to have sex, don't have sex. Okay? It's not that easy. Just After a couple drinks, and, and a couple of good I moves. love okay. what he did. I love that. <laughs> well, that okay. I'll send you the list. Garcelle, I'm going to send you the list. Okay, okay.